last one or two have been on the same one. This this may be the same as the Shuggeth. I, I don't remember. You can always check the uh, settings command. That'll always tell you exactly what experimental build I'm on. So I'm on 8135. I think it's a couple of weeks old at this point. Hmm. One second, I'll check something. All right. I think I'm going to take a quick break. So we're a couple of hours in. This is a good spot for me to stand up and stretch the legs, get to uh, refresh my water. Um, yeah, so far, super happy. The only time we've run into a real problem is that one ant that snuck in on us uh, when the minefield was exploding. <laughs> I knew it was a possibility, and I, I paid for it, but uh, we'll be able to heal that damage up in a couple of nights' sleep. So, But we've got a ton of good stuff, even with the 75% uh, item spawn rate. So, And we got a vehicle. Crazy good vehicle for us this early. Completely green condition. Still can't believe we lucked across that. But, luck goes to the prepared, so I happen to have the gallon jug to fill the gas tank up a little further. That 10 liters definitely isn't enough either. Um, and then i got to be careful of the battery power as well. But at least everything's in good condition and it's not going to discharge on me while it's just sitting here. So, let me take a quick break, and then I'll be back for more. Here's the character sheet, and I'll see you guys in just a few minutes.
Okay, I'm back. Er, get comfy again. Back to my standard slouch. Uh, where are we at? <laughs> oh yeah, we got our cool chopper. Uh, speaking of which, we're gonna rename this the Law Chopper. Not Chopper. Law Chopper. Alright, remember position, please. Okay, so, there we go. We're going to have to make a serious decision about how we're going to deal with uh, the first evening. Um, I can't stay here out in the open, so I may, may need to decide if I'm going to try to stick it out on the gun store, or do we relocate while I've still got a couple of hours of daylight. Um, if I relocate away from the ants, I'm going to have to deal with the zombies again, of course. I noticed over here, we've got a water source right there. There's a pond just on the back side of these houses. Uh, apartment Northwest right on the forest here wouldn't be bad. There's also a campsite kind of hidden back here. Um, now that we got the chopper, we got some options. I got a bit of a problem. Anytime I do the reveal map option, it kind of gets me more info than I want because I can see where the uh, the stairs are <laughs> unfortunately so stairs 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 <laughs> that's a little more info than I want but I have to put up with it when I've got the uh, the reveal map option so somebody was mentioning the size of the city earlier this is just the suburb Burling or Bur Burlville here is just the Little cousin suburb to the northern section of our city. <laughs> this is the big place. That's pretty sizable. So, actually I might need to decide, do I want to... Let's look for our police stations again, so... That's the one we started at. Now it's saying 10? I thought it said 12 earlier. So we got one to the south in Burlville, right there. One heading up towards the uh, other big city. One way out to the east, or the west, I mean. And that's the northern section of that larger city. Kind of dead center. Not far north of that. And way off to the west. Yeah, there's quite a few of them up in that northern area scattered around. Looks like in the south we just got these two. So, southeast of Burlville, and then right in that little connector pipeline. Um, hmm. Just notice we've also got a mansion hiding back here. Totally off the road, just in the middle of the forest. What's up with that? What else have we got in this section right in here, though? It's really not much else other than just solid residential. Go hide in a cave. Actually, a cave wouldn't be too bad. Especially with the proximity to this uh, neighborhood here. Assuming it's an empty cave. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's a beehive. The eights are a beehive. And that's a slime pit right there. That's a uh, orchard. Apple orchard. So, I have to make my decision on where we're going to try to hole up or, or camp out. If it weren't for the ants, I'd really seriously consider this, this gun store. I'm just deathly afraid of getting basically locked into the place. Uh, I don't know of a Mega City mod. <laughs> Rat King Cave. <laughs> Very well could be. I don't plan on going down that line with this run, but uh, sometimes it happens. Uh, before I unload all this stuff, I really have to make a decision here. I like that the local area is fairly clear, and I'm right on the outside edge of the ants currently, but... I do like that pond area over there. The pond used to be more important. It's not as important now, because the forest has little water spaces fairly regularly, so wouldn't be a big deal, really. Um, pet supply store is not going to be very helpful, but this is all residential, which I do like. 
Maybe we'll we'll take a trip over there on the motorcycle and kind of scout it out. I'll park the bike back here and we'll kind of, or I may just drive do a drive by and see what the uh, what the volume looks like. So let's go ahead and uh, fill some stuff up in the bike here. Let's put all this random stuff in. Actually, hold that for now. Uh, don't need those. Oops. 15 out of 68. I think we'll be okay. So, dragged to there. Throw it all in. Back the card off. All right, so 41 out of 68. We haven't even filled up a single cart yet, but we we have not yet begun to pack rats, so. All right, read that and that just to get them memorized. So mechanics of three, that'll let me take out batteries and such. I don't have a hacksaw yet to uh, carve off a uh, 60 liter tank, so we're still on the lookout for the hacksaw. I know what it should be named. <laughs> Why do you think I am called Drudge Jed? <laughs> I can't be that name. That's why we are the uh, Law Chopper. <laughs> I'm aware of the mythology of my pretend theme challenge. Um. <laughs> And I know about it from the original source material, not the silly movies. Especially that really silly Schwarzenegger version. No, not Schwarzenegger. <laughs> not Schwarzenegger. <laughs> I think we're just going to go ahead and get moving right now. Let's see if I can... Keep this bike alive. 20 miles per hour. I don't even know if that's... Oh, this is this is going to be horrible to drive on the grass. This is definitely not an off-road vehicle. <laughs> I can't go... If I go up another level, it's going to take me to 30. My safe speed is 32. All right, so we can go to 30. 23, 24. It's slowly getting speed up. All right, let's go straight across. Yeah, still on. <laughs> Stallone and who? Armand Asante and Sandra Bullock. I like the Carl Urban one much better. All right, so far we haven't spotted anybody, but it is raining, so visibility is low, and we are coming up on the buildings. I don't want to get the vehicle too close to danger, so I think I'm going to leave it right out here for now. Whoops, I think, yep, I just hit a hydrangea bush. Lovely. All right, still green. Shouldn't be close enough that anything hurt us. <clears throat> Street sweeper, wreckage, but I still might have a chance of getting the uh, man or man hack, <laughs> the uh, hack pro software. Zombies and Dutchins. All right, come on, hack pro. Inventory all. No hack bro. Uh, I could grab some battery power. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't care about any of this. More duct tape. <laughs> Alright, so what are we looking at here? This is the pet supply. I don't remember going into a pet supply store. We'll, we'll check it out real quick. Is that a dog whistle? Dog whistle, cat food, tuna fish, 
back door. Alright, so nothing much in here. Some load bearing chain link fence. If I wanted to collapse the ceiling on myself. Alright, let's do a run through of the apartment building here. Don't need a heat pack, thanks. Taylor's kit. Taylor's kit will grab. Whoa. Don't need any of that. Sometimes it doesn't feel like 0.75 items spawn. Maybe just because I'm used to playing with... Let's go ahead and eat the orange, get some vitamins. hat, leather pants. I've forgotten again. What am I wearing? Got my duster, my gi, and my cargo pants. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, that's right. I'm I'm really encumbered up. We're at 53 torso encumbrance and a little hot. Uh, I really don't want to take off the gi. That's giving me good protection. I guess we'll just roll with it. Lots of soap and detergent. Brandy, mayonnaise, fingerless gloves, let's grab those. <laughs> Swimming booties and a wetsuit. Do you get uh, plastic chunks out of a wetsuit? Neoprene? I'm not sure you can butcher that for stuff. Let's find out. Rags and neoprene sheets. Mm, pretty bulky, probably. Eh, not too bad, I guess. Rags I can get anywhere. Army winter jacket's pretty nice. Flashlight, another wrench. Showing me everything. Leather trench coat. Let's relocate the leather trench coat. Butcher that up. Lots of leather patches. I always forget to accumulate those. Uh oh. He definitely saw me. I think he's going to come through the window after me. And we had just, yep, <laughs> we had just about got a completely clean exploration of the apartment complex. Um. Kill that one guy, and we'd have this building to ourselves, roughly. A lot of raw materials to craft with. Including some more load-bearing chain-link fence. So, nothing here. We're finished with that. Now we're going to end up going out into the streets in the daylight. I don't have night vision on this guy. Perception 9, so we'll have three spaces of sight range. Um, I do have the uh, infrared, but that's not exactly sight range. That just highlights warm bodies. Zombies included, apparently, which seems strange to me that they would be considered warm-blooded, but whatever. Apparently they have body heat. Let's go ahead and head back to our bike. Drop off the stuff we've gotten. Uh, fill this one up first, I guess. All right, 6.18 p.m. Let's go up and check this house in the corner, and I think I might call it for the Cataclysm Day right there. Backtrack, make sure we've got a safe spot to sleep in, try to get some healing done at night. Um, yeah, I guess we can search some bushes while we're going through here. Got <laughs> a gallon jug and some veggies. That was a lucky bush at zero survival skill.
Oh, another survivor house. Come on, game. <laughs> Stop it. Now you're messing with me. Well, I still don't have a way of getting into those. So, I guess we're going to go out into the daylight. Kill some zombies. Feral Runner. wonder how fast I am compared to a Feral Runner. Uh, that's a SWAT van over there. Ooh. Excuse me. Hmm. Uh, that's actually not going to help me. Bad terrain setup. Dump, backpack, and raincoat. Run mode. Dump. Crowbar. <laughs> Alright, so we lurched and hit him for 19. Lurched and hit him for 19 again. 21. And down he goes. Did he even get an attack in? I don't see a single attack that he got in. We must be swinging pretty damn fast. That's two, three, four swings. Down he went. Before we even had to dodge, or looks like he even got a counterattack. That seems a bit odd. If I can find a working vehicle, I'm going to think about ramming into that garage door. That'd be fun. This beetle would be a good candidate. No security system, a little bit of gas, a little bit of battery. I like it. I'm going to go through that window or go through that garage door with a beetle. That's in good condition. Does the driver's seat have a seatbelt? <laughs> seatbelt, seatbelt. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going right through that uh, garage door with this beetle. Get lined up. That looks good. Back her up. Hey there, zombie. Uh, all right, let's run the zombie over. Whoops. Keep moving forward again. <laughs> all right, I think I'm lined up. Uh, I might be offline slightly. Now we're good. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> the other way to get into a survivor house. Uh, 50 miles an hour? Yeah, 50 ought to do it. 20, 25, 30. Whoops, we're drifting. 39. That'll work. That's all I need. <laughs> Took a little bit of damage. Oops. Back up. Or not. Oh, I'm going forward. Duh. All right. Car's still in good working condition, too. Ah, uh, stop driving. It's in the front, anyway. Bumper cables. All right. That's all I needed right there, though. I've never seen a trap in the garage, so the garage is usually safe. What do we got? A tube 40 millimeter launcher, screwdriver, repair kit, jerry can of diesel, and a bunch of stuff I'm not going to use. Don't care about the casings. Scrap metal's okay. Copper wire's good. The rest of it could care less about, other than the jury can. I'll probably empty of that out unless I put a diesel engine in my bike, which I don't think I will. Why not just smash a window? Because they are reinforced, boarded-up windows, and I can't smash them with uh, nine strength and a crowbar. I just don't have the ability to break, do enough damage to uh, break through. And there's traps all over the inside of that house. So the main place I wanted to get to was here and the bedroom right up here. You want to avoid the main room over here. <laughs> 40 millimeter launcher of justice. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take the jerry can. It's going to be a shame to dump 10 things of diesel, but uh, I can get diesel pretty easily lots of places. So let's leave that for the moment. Actually, no, we'll... Uh, 
we'll we'll carry it in our arms here. Uh hey, it's even got the 40 millimeter frag round loaded. That's interesting. I won't use it, because with zero launcher skill, I'll just end up launching it at my feet and the explosion will kill me. But uh, I don't think I'm going to pick it up. The, the, the times I would find it possibly useful to use it, I, if I'm in that situation, I'm already doing it wrong. So I deserve whatever's going to happen to me. All right, so we'll grab the copper wire and we'll unload the repair kit. I think that's duct tape. Yep, duct tape. Don't need the screwdriver. Don't care about that. All right, let's see if we can get ourselves blown up here. Just a standard USB drive. Nah. Bathroom? Nope, the other bedroom. All right, get your stamina back. Don't run. I don't think there are mines back here. I could be wrong, though. <laughs> That's why I was banging on these back windows previously, because I think this back room is safe. 12 gauge pistol with one round of buckshot. <laughs> one double lot. Not even going to pick that up. Wool poncho, fitted pants, leather. Ooh, leather pants. Come here, leather pants. You get the. Oh, actually, I want the wool poncho as well. That'll get me uh, felt. So grab those. This is where, again, I'm pretty sure there's nothing in here. It's just the front room that's dangerous. Just this room. It's full of mines and, and shotgun traps, but I'm not even going to go look. Oh, there's one. <laughs> right as I started to back up, my perception spotted the uh, shotgun trap stand right there. So generally, you, you come through this door, you step into this space, if you, don't, if you haven't seen the shotgun trap, and you get shot. So good times. That's where that one's expecting to get you, is somebody coming through the door here too fast and not realizing there's a trap here. But that's why I'm not going that way. So <laughs> that is a survivor house. Uh-oh, it's getting dark. Let's check the security van, and then I think we're going to go hole up in the uh, apartment tower for the night. All right, what kind of goodies you got for me? That's it. An M4 with 30 rounds, some tear gas, shotgun slugs. Uh, shotgun slugs I like because I picked up that one shotgun and another holster. So, we'll take the M4, take the shotgun slugs, and take the holster. I'm never going to use tear gas on anything in this game. Is it a working vehicle? No security system, no battery, no gas, and a faulty engine. So, yeah, we're not going anywhere in this thing. Good source of parts, though. 24-inch wide wheels. I don't have a lift mechanism to pull the wheels off to replace onto my bike yet. We'll note it's here, though, for uh, spare parts and such. Hey there, zombie. All right. Uh, the shady zombies are going to come out in force. They're going to be able to see me from distance now. Hmm. Um. Oh, I got grabbed and I haven't broken it yet? Wow. Nice job, shady zombie. Let's try to tie him up on this vehicle here. Stop running. Alright, that's the broken window that other zombie made. Uh, I'm probably getting spotted by a bunch of shadies right here. Let's dump the diesel, dump the backpack and the raincoat again. And step outside here. I'm just going to wait for whatever's coming. Here's one. Hey there, zombie. Lurch for 13, 25, 16. Melee skill increased to 1. Why am I not seeing any messages about them attacking me? I got I got grabbed and I saw the grab message earlier. See, he hit my leg, but the armor protected me. But I did all of that without a single message about them getting anything any attacks in. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 attacks. I don't know if because they're hand-to-hand -hand attacks, they're just so fast I'm getting a huge number of them in before he's getting a, a move or what. But that just seems like a lot. All right, let's, we'll keep waiting. I want to see if any other shady zombies are in the area. I'd rather fight them here before they break through the windows and make a mess. 
Alright, looks like not. Wait, five minutes? Alright, looks like we're clear. Uh, don't care. Let's go ahead and go inside. Grab our gear. Really? How can I not pick it up now? Oh, I was holding the, uh... What was I holding? I was holding the jerry can. That's why. There. Okay, let's pick this bedroom back here. Close the windows. Close the doors. Alright, we'll sleep here. I'm gonna run and grab a pillow and a blanket. Uh, I'll make a pile. All my food and stuff sound on the bike. Other than french fries, I'd rather not eat french fries. Alright, I just want to go find a uh, pillow and a blanket. Yeah, I guess we'll take the brandy. None of these have a pillow and a blanket? Hey, blankets. Hello. All right, so we got our nice, comfortable spot. Um, more leather pants I can chop up. Just debating, do I want to go out to my vehicle? We've got an enclosed room here, so I can... Uh, Throw some wood in the stove and cook things uh, without bothering to set the brazier up. Let's... I really got nothing to eat here. Let's uh, dump the raincoat. Brandy. Let's go get a few things from the bike. Should be fairly safe to make this trip. Look at that, one space. <laughs> take off. Sunglasses, take off. Tactical helmet, actually activate tactical helmet. Can I lift the... No, I can't lift the visor. That kind of sucks. All-encompassing black helmet covers your entire face and neck. Lots of protection, but, uh, yeah, I can't do anything with it. All right, take it off. I got to be able to see. I want my three spaces. Oh, I'm still only getting two spaces. Why am I only getting two spaces? Oh, it's raining. That's why. Losing one because of the rain. That's okay. All right, so, don't want the weapons... Uh, I'm going to have the campfire or the kitchen fire. I don't need that. Might need the pot. Alright, we'll take a banana, some biscuits, the salad for sure. Oh yeah, and the gallon jug of milk. That should more than take care of it. We'll take BLTs just in case. Anything else? I don't think I'm going to craft or read. I'm going to sleep as soon as I can. Make sure I get a nice full night's sleep. I'll leave the rest there. Alright, bike. You better be there in pristine condition when I get back in the morning. Alright. Everything over there, please. Um... I can disassemble now because I've got the tools, which is takes more time, but it's quieter. I can't deconstruct the sink. All right, fine. That'll be plenty. Everything to here, please. Alright, not gonna smash that. I don't wanna make noise. 
Um, I think we are just about good. Oops, wrong place. Cooked fruit! <laughs> it's the only thing I can make. Alright, everything else I've got is prepped. I guess I didn't need to start the fire. Let's have some dried salad. That's yummy. Uh, that's right. I need to activate my pot to get the milk warmed up. Uh, I did bring the pot with me. Activate. Pot. Milk. No. All right, full and slaked. Focus is good. Maybe I do want to do a little bit of... No, it's almost midnight already. Man, it took me a long time to just get that done. I think a bunch of time passed when I was deconstructing furniture. I forget it's like 20 minutes or something. It's a long time. So we need to sleep right dang now. Hopefully that fire goes out. I don't have a good way of putting it out. Yeah, I think we're just going to sleep. So... If you haven't played with Imperceptive Healer, watch what happens here. So, Imperceptive Healer, my right leg is at two bars. I don't know what the exact number is. That could be 2.24 bars. I think it changes every 25%. <laughs> so, who knows exactly what my right leg health is. But basically, two bars of health. We'll see if we get a nice, quiet sleep. So, we fell asleep, no problem. Time is passing, time is passing. No changes to the bars, no changes to the bars. <laughs> oh, look at those bars just whip off. Hey, there they go. They're off and running. <laughs> and I woke up. <laughs> I was not kidding about Inconsequential Healer. <laughs> what did we get? One quarter of one bar of progress from a full night's sleep. We slept for, what, almost eight hours? 7.30 a.m.? And we got a quarter of one bar. That is why I dreadfully fear getting stuck in acid pools and shock zombies not even as much as acid. Right now, with Inc Inconsequential Healer, it's the acid that really, really kills me. <laughs> okay. So, what I should have done is throw some bandages on those legs before I slept. So, that would have been a better plan. I do have three bandages, so I should have thrown bandages on those. And we'll go ahead and do that now. That would have been a better thing. Alright, so I missed out on some healing possibilities. I'm just going to have to be really careful. As always, anytime I take a lot of damage from something, it's really painful. It adds up fast. Alright, so 7.30 in the morning. Um, I got nothing in this pile other than just random raw materials. So we're just going to leave that alone. We'll leave this as our kind of a fallback location here as we kind of work our way through a few things. I do need to clear the local area, so if I don't find any nasty zombies, I may try to get some killing done. Um, running them over in that working beetle would be good till it falls apart. So they do. Healing are the bandages and uh, disinfectant. That's the way you can accelerate the healing. They work on different bonuses, so Apply the bandages, apply the disinfectants, and then uh, just let them work. All right. That's why I always usually try to push my first aid skill up as quick as possible when I have uh, this healing trait as well. It's really important so that you get the maximum benefit out of your healing items. Really, really puts a focus on it. All right, so... i got to decide... Do I just push through the local area here? Looking for... I've got all the basic tools. I don't have a hacksaw. I'm missing the hacksaw, actually. So, I need the hacksaw, and I need a lifting mechanism. There are no garages. Wow, where are garages? I don't see a single garage... Anywhere... Anywhere. There's one. There's two right there. Back where I came from. Three. <laughs> of course. All back in the direction I came from. Four, five. So five garages in that section there. I don't see any. 
What the hell is this? That looks really, really weird. That is just really weird looking to me. The way that generated. Huh. Alright. I guess with a big enough city, you get those kinds of weird conglomerations of uh, open spaces. Yeah, I see a distinct lack of garages. There's some finally way up there. Three of them all near each other. But I can't take my bike in that deep. It's not that the, I can't get there on the bike. I can't leave the bike and expect it to still be in one piece when I get back to it. So that's where it's going to be hard to use the bike to uh, get to the police stations uh, without having it get ripped up. So it's going to take some interesting, uh, interesting doings here. Hey there, Jerry Kerstetter. Welcome back. <laughs> you know the challenge command. All right. I also have a command built in for the fonts, if anybody's curious what font I'm using. Because it is beautiful, and I get questioned a lot on what font it is. Um... I think first, I'm going to go ahead and try to do an initial clear of this area. I do have wander spawns turned on, so I'm going to get new zombies showing up. But I'd like to clear at least this section right here. If I can clear this area, I can be relatively confident I'll be able to deal with any add-on zombies here in my little base area. So I think I'm going to focus on doing that. If I can get a cleared area with lots of resources, uh, then I can start expanding out. Um... I just can't believe we've got the motorcycle already. I want to use the motorcycle so bad, but it's <laughs> I'm going to get it destroyed and I I want to get it repaired. So I'm thinking I might take the motorcycle back over to where we were and then take try to take a trip down to these this string of garages, 1 2 3 4 5 6 garages in a row. Because if I can park the bike up in this area, come down, straight down this road, hit that one, and just kind of work my way across and then back up. There should be some ant activity up around these three that'll help me avoid the zombies. That's just, yeah, that, that's close enough, because we had ants all the way out here. So yeah, I, I think there'll be enough ants that I have a good chance of getting to these. So actually, I might... I might park... I don't know, i have to think about it. But I need the... Uh, I need metalworking tools, welder and such, and I need the uh, like an engine crane. And garages, especially with six garages in a row, I think I got a really good chance of getting a acetylene torch, welder, and or a pallet lifter or engine crane. And uh, if I can, and I can get them back out of there safely, that'll be huge. But I want to have a safe-ish area to return to. So, first order of business, clear the local area of the initial zombie spawn. And, uh, yeah, then I will... Uh, Secondly, I think if nothing changes in what's going on, I'm going to make a plan to head down here and we're going to try to hit this string of garages and that dojo, of course. We'll see. So hopefully by the time we get this done, we don't take too much damage and we'll be back to full strength. So I'm going to plan on using this as my temp base. So I think I might pull the bike over and park it back here and then transfer the stuff in and uh, use this middle spot in the back side of the apartment as my temporary base area. Let's go out back, see if any zombies have spawned back here. Nope, just a groundhog. That's good. So, let's go get our stuff. Barrel runner, huh? Where's he at? Coming through the vehicle. Um, That's fine. Let's hop on our law chopper. Try to avoid... Smashing into any flowers. <laughs> I don't have the update that keeps that from really hurting us. Alright. This will work. Stop driving. Is he still trying to work his way through that vehicle? No. Now I don't see him. He must have got distracted by something. Or he's in the shadow of that vehicle right no, he was in the front end coming through it this way. I don't know where he went. Guess I'm not going to worry about it. Come on, vehicle. Stop spewing exhaust. I don't want your noise to attract anything. Alright, so... 
everything out for now. Alright, once I get it through the window, I can use the uh, drag command, but I gotta get it through the window first. Alright, now we can drag it. And... Yeah, I should put everything in one space. Same thing with you, everybody over here. All right, so we got all of our gear set up now. Uh, let's put you down there with the hat. Close this back up. And let's go get a little bit more raw material. Let's go take these apart. We get some good raw material out of these. Uh, you get like four, four or six heating elements, I believe. No heating elements? <laughs> All right, my misremembering, those are... Oh, these are washing machines, not dryers. No, that's a dryer. Was this a washing machine? And I wasn't paying attention. Do they have the same graphic? There's heating elements, but only two that time. Oh well, that's fine. Better than nothing. We'll just drag that pile on down. All right, let's take part over here. Deconstruct. Um, yeah, we may end up spending the day here doing this. Got 81 two by fours. How many rags? 125 rags. Not nearly enough for everything I want to do. <laughs> it's already three in the afternoon. <laughs> be good enough for a while so we got a pretty good pile of raw materials now uh that'll burn through my initial crafting curve um very hungry very thirsty hopefully our milk is defrosted yay keep slamming down the milk actually we're gonna empty it out right here oh, we didn't quite make it we got slaked one dose left to go all right let's have some biscuits and a BLT. Alright, say no. I don't want to make myself sick. Goodbye, biscuits. We don't have a lot of prepped food, so I might have to go out into the forest again, but we're going to be hitting a lot of houses here pretty quick, so... Almost 6 o'clock. Uh, got a good pile of raw materials. I've got a gas lantern as well. Uh, if I don't want to burn... Need to make sure to grab some more gas. I've got that jerry can I can fill up now. Alright. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's turn on the gas lantern. Let's read a book. Let's read... Let's get mechanics first. That way I've got the option to do some work on the bike if it uh, shows up. 11pm. Time to sleep again. Turn the lantern back off. Uh, finish off our milk. Oh, everything froze again on me <laughs> before I could get to it. That's fine. We'll, we'll be okay till morning. Let's drop the... Did I not pick the lantern up? I guess I didn't pick it up. I thought usually you picked things up when you activated them. Oh, all right. Okay, no zombie visits, please. Uh, have I still got the bandage action? I do still have the bandage action going on. I don't have any disinfectant yet. That's the thing we're actually missing the most. I don't have hardly any first aid ability whatsoever. So I hope we get some in the uh, houses we're going to go visit. Off to sleep we go. Come on, legs. Bandage legs. Get at least an, into the fourth bar, please. 
Nope. <laughs> it's just not gonna. Oh, I always forget just how bad this healing is. Oh, the top one moved. The bottom one's still stuck at two and a half. Didn't even budge. Ouch. All right, everything's still frozen. Let's get the fire going. Uh, uh, let's just read for a short bit. And then, oh, my gallon jug of milk is still just a little bit frozen, apparently. Oh, my vegetables got rotten. <laughs> my hard-won vegetables. Uh, all rotten into the fire with you. All right, milk's all gone. Now I'm going to have a hydration issue. I have just about nothing. A couple of sports drinks and my compot. All right, let's start slamming down the compot. Uh, where'd you go on my list, Compot? There you are. Oops, slaked already. <laughs> ah! <laughs> God damn it, Draco. <laughs> Thanks much for the tip. <laughs> I don't know which one scares me more, the laugh or the, uh, the gib. I haven't heard the other ones yet, but, uh, they're gonna startle me pretty much forever. <laughs> well, good. You hit me with the last one. I'm glad that one startled you. <laughs> you deserved it. All right. Um, so, yeah, I got to start paying attention to hydration. I do have that pond. <laughs> well, okay. Now I've heard one of the other ones. That thunder one goes on for a while. <laughs> it is not raining. It's flurrying. -ing -ing. That one's not quite as startling as the uh, the laugh and the uh, the gib. <laughs> All right, uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, hydration. Um, let's do this. Let's grab that diesel. Throw our tactical helmet back on, our sunglasses. That's it. A boomer. Where are you at, Boomer? Hmm. So, we got a water source right there. So, I don't need to go down to that pond. That's that's pretty convenient. Um, as soon as I get this jerry can full... Uh, I'm taking it with me, actually. I was going to go put the, uh, the diesel into that van so it's not wasted, just in case I need it later. So, follow me, Boomer. You should be nice and slow. Oh, no tanks. Uh, I don't see any other diesel vehicles around. Man, I hate to waste this. Is there... This has only got one. <coughs> I'm hoping to find a... I don't want to waste that either. There we go. This will work. So, siphon from there onto the ground, that way, fill that tank with the diesel. That'll work. Alright, now I can fill this up with water. Uh, come up here, Boomer. Let's get you as far away from anything useful as as we can, and we'll go fight you. Get us some water.
Okay, we've got some water, so hydration's not a problem any longer. Food will become one eventually, but uh, I think we're okay. Let's have a banana and toast them. That's good enough. I don't have any multivitamins or anything yet. Okay, uh, 21. I should probably work on my tailoring as well so I can get a second backpack just in case. I don't have the cart here anymore. We'll, we'll go with what we got, I guess. Anybody out front? All right, done that. Looked at these. Nothing in the tub. Calcium tabs. Unload the doll. Grab the hot plate. Grab the entertainment device. 